best way to explain conformity assessment would be to give you a very simple example. Most people have TV sets and when they have a TV set or they buy a TV set they want to make sure that the TV set will function the way that they expect it, that the picture quality will be good, that technically it will function and it will last for years. Uh, conformity assessment is all the activities that a company would need to be able to go through to make sure that that TV set will meet all the technical specifications to be able to perform properly and function good. So technically speaking, it's all the re demonstration that uh, specified requirements are met by a product uh, or by a person or by a process or by an organisation. CASCO is the ISO Committee on Conformity Assessment. It's one of the very few committees that is based in, in Geneva at the ISO Central Secretariat. It's called CASCO and it has two functions. It develops policy on conformity assessment and that's extremely important because right throughout the world we want to ensure that there's a consistent, harmonised approach to conformity assessment so that if you test a product in one country and you test it in another, you can accept the results between those two countries. The other aspect that we do is we actually develop standards and we're the only committee based in Geneva that actually writes the standards. We've written 27 standards associated with conformity assessment. They're mainly associated with conformity assessment bodies. Conformity assessment bodies are the bodies that actually perform conformity assessment. An example would be a testing laboratory. They will test a product. It's a conformity assessment body. CASCO is an extremely important committee. Uh, if you look at the WTO, they have indicated that one of the biggest obstacles to trade is the non-acceptance of test reports and certificates that accompany products, uh, but also management systems. So by participating in CASCO, a particular country uh, ensures that they are able to contribute to the development of the standard. They're able to bring to the table the unique conditions within their country. Uh, it will help them and facilitate the import and export of products so that they're not at a disadvantage. Uh, the other aspect that's very important is the aspect that it gives them the ability to get a very good understanding of the intent around a requirement so that they can feed it back to industry within their country uh, and again facilitate the export and import of products in terms of that. It also allows for a transfer of knowledge from developed countries to developing countries in terms of the technologies uh, and, and the requirements in these uh, documents. All members are allowed to participate in, in CASCO. Um, once a member does participate in CASCO, they can choose to decide, or they can decide to participate as a P member or as an observer member. But in addition to that, subscriber and correspondent members, since the beginning of this year, January 2014, are allowed to pick five committees in which they can participate uh, as a P member, a full member. And we would highly recommend for those correspondent and subscriber members that have trade or would like to improve trade to participate in CASCO. Lots is happening in CASCO at the moment. We've undergone a huge period of revising an awful lot of documents over the last 18 months. Uh, so most of our documents, 27 of them, have been revised. We're currently busy revising the major base document 17021, ISO IEC 17021, which is for certification bodies for management systems. That is companies that certify ISO 9000 and, and, and 1. We're busy developing an online tool for use by our member bodies, which will help them uh, explain to regulators at the national level how they can use the CASCO toolbox or the CASCO standards at the national regulatory level. Um, we've just changed the format of the CASCO plenary to make it a much more participative and learning uh, process for the members. The first day is totally given over to participating in technical discussions and roundtable discussions 
on critical and strategic issues associated uh, with, with conformity assessment, especially from a developing country perspective where we look at the issues and the problems that they face and how we can accommodate them uh, into future work activities within, within CASCO. It's very easy to sign up for the next meeting. Uh, all you've got to do is contact us here at, at uh, CASCO and you can use the following address, casco at iso.org.